Hi there. My name is Miss Townsend and I love math. Welcome to Math with Townsend. This video is for grade 10 students who are working on the year end summative. It's question number 14, which is from the trigonometry section. The question says Tower A and Tower B stand a certain distance apart on opposite sides of a city park. Tower B is taller by 60 meters. Roger is standing at the base of Tower B looking up at the top of Tower A with an angle of elevation of 48 degrees. Sophia is standing at her office window inside Tower A looking up at the top of Tower B at an angle of 55 degrees. If Sophia's office is 30 meters above ground level, determine the heights of both towers. So that's a lot of information and I need to draw a picture to make sense of all that information. So I'll start with this. So I, I made this somewhat nice. So there's the two towers and we know that um, office tower B is taller by 60 meters. So this extra chunk here is 60 meters more than the height of that tower. So that's the first thing. Let me just, okay, what else do I know? We know that Roger is standing at the base of tower B looking up at the top of tower A. So Roger's standing here and he's looking up. So he's, this is, this red line represents his line of sight. He's standing at the base of tower B and looking up at tower A. And we're told that as he's looking, the angle of elevation, that's the angle of the looking up, uh, that the angle of elevation is 48 degrees. So we have that information. Sophia is standing at her office window inside tower A, looking up to the top of tower B at an angle of 55 degrees and her office is 30 meters above the ground. So let me just demonstrate. So here or so, let's say she's 30 meters above the ground and she is from her office looking up. Let me just select something nice here. So she is looking up, oh, that's close enough, at the top of the other tower. So this is Sophia. She's 30 meters off the ground. She's inside tower A and she's looking up to the top of tower B and the angle of elevation. So again, angle of elevation is always measured with reference to looking straight across and then turning your eyes upwards. So for her, it's 55 degrees angle of elevation. And from this, we should be able to find the heights of both towers. Hmm. Now, obviously there's some right angle triangles happening here. So the angle of elevation triangle for Roger, there's a right angle triangle there. For Sophia, there's also a right angle triangle here if we include this line as the base. Um, but that's kind of all the information I actually know except for there's a 30 meter thing here. So we need to start to figure out some variables that we can use so that we can start setting up some equations and solving. So let me just get a slightly nicer picture. Ooh, actually that's a lot nicer picture. So this is one I drew in advance with like the rulers and all that. Um, so what how can we possibly create variables? So what I'm going to do is I want to look at the two triangles and see what they share in common. So like, are there any sides or anything that's in common? So when I look at this triangle, so boop -boop -boop -boop, we'll just say the yellow triangle. And then when I look at the blue triangle, boop -boop -boop, so you can see there's a bit of overlap there. Um, so if I'm looking at those two triangles, what do they have in common? Well, other than the fact that they're right angled. Well, they both have um, one side that is the same length. If we look, that side that represents, change my pen. So the side that represents the bottom, which is this distance here, is also this distance here. The distance between the towers is used in both the yellow and the blue triangle. So that's gonna be one of my variables. So maybe I'll say that D is gonna be the distance between the towers. So if you're looking at the triangles, what else is it that they share? Well, obviously these diagonal lines, the lines of sight are in common. Um, and do they have anything else in common? Well. I have enough information about the heights of the towers. I mean, I have some information. Um, I don't know how tall the first tower is, but it's used in this yellow triangle. And I know something about the relationship between them. So I'm also gonna insert, um, I'm gonna highlight just so it's clear, 
do, 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 that this piece here would be the same as this piece here. So I don't know how big that piece is, but when I look at the towers, that piece is used in both of them. So the first tower is 30 plus whatever that is, and the second tower is 30 plus that pink bit plus 60. So I'm going to define that to be x. So x is going to be the height of tower A minus 30, because that piece is 30. And what that means is that if I look again at the yellow triangle, I can now write that this side of the triangle is 30 plus x. And for the blue triangle, I can say that this side of the triangle is x plus 60. So I can actually describe the sides of two of the sides of the yellow triangle using x and d, and two of the sides of the blue triangle using x and d. So let's just clean this up a little bit. So again, let me just, there's the green triangle. And here's the other triangle, the pink triangle. Um, so if we call this distance d down here, and then transfer it to these triangles, it's this distance and this distance. So that's d. Now the height here, we called that x. So if I go back to where we started, if I put this back, we can see that this side of the triangle is 30 plus x. So this side of the triangle is 30 plus x. Now when I look at the taller triangle, um, if I put this other triangle back in position, and that was the triangle that started up here because it's Sheila from our office window, we can see that this part here is the same as this part here, and that is x plus 60. So let's just, oops, clean that up. So this is x plus 60. So now I have two right angle triangles where I can describe the tan ratio of the angle known using x and d. So for both triangles, I can describe tan using x and d. So that'll give me a system where I know I have two equations and there's two unknowns, which means we'll be able to solve. So let's go ahead and do that. So here are those triangles in slightly neater or very much neater form. So you can see that again, I have an angle here and once I have that angle, these sides would be the opposite and this would be the adjacent. So I can set up my tan ratio to say that tan of 48 is opposite over adjacent. And I can do the same thing over here with the other triangle. I have an angle here, so this side is opposite and this side is adjacent. So tan 55 is opposite over adjacent. So what I end up having is two equations with two unknowns. So now we're going to, in the middle of a tree question, do some linear system solving. Okay, so um, I want to rearrange so that I can set these equal to each other. So I'm going to multiply by D. So here, if I multiply by D, I get tan 48 times D equals 30 plus X. And over here, if I multiply by D, I get tan 55 times d equals x plus 60. And that means on both equations, I can now isolate d by dividing by that tan expression. So here, d equals 30 plus x divided by tan 48. And here, d equals x plus 60 divided by tan 55. So what I have is two equations where I know what d is equal to. And of course, d is the distance between the towers, which is one answer which means that this D must equal this D, and therefore this version of D must equal this version of D. So we substitute those two Ds for each other, and I get that 30 plus X over tan 48 is equal to X plus 60 over tan 55. And then I just have to solve for X because I'm down to a single equation with just unknown being X. So at any point, feel free to type that tan 55 and tan 48 to get a decimal. I like to wait so I don't have to deal with 
writing a lot of decimals over and over again. So first I'm going to cross multiply to remove the divide by part. So if I'm over here, I get tan 55 times 30 plus x equals, and here I get tan 48 times x plus 60. And at this point, I guess I'm going to have to take up my calculator, make sure I'm in degree mode. Tan 55 is 1.4281 times 30 plus x. And tan 48 is 1.1106 times x plus 60. So multiply into the bracket, 1.4281 times 30. So I'll now reduce down to just two decimals plus 1.43x. And over here, multiplying 1.11 into the bracket, I get 1.11 times x plus 66.64. So now I don't even have trig. I'm just literally solving for x in a grade 9 style equation. So I'm going to subtract 11.1 from both sides. And I'm going to subtract 42.84 from both sides. So that gives me 0.32x equals... 23.8, and then finally dividing by 0 0.32, I will have solved for x. So x equals 74.4. So I know what x is, but remember, like, what am I actually doing with it? So, oops, I'm out of diagrams. So remember, x was the extra distance above where Sheila's office was. So I now know that it's 74.4. That means I can tell you that tower A is 104.4 meters in height. And since tower B is 60 meters taller, I now know that tower B is 164.4 meters in height. Okay, so nice, great question because it's trig and it's linear systems. If only I could have somehow worked in some quadratics, that would be awesome. That was supposed to be a face. There we go. Thanks for watching, happy studying, and please continue getting help when you need it in math or in anything. Okay, bye-bye.